Hey peeps, welcome to another video. Today it is part three in the McCall's 7974 Sew Along. So today we will be making the skirt and finishing off the dress. So let's get started. So the first thing that the pattern asks us to do is finish the long edge of skirt front, the self-facing. So I am going to mark a line, press it over the amount that it needs to be the, the, the facing over and then I can interface that facing and I'm going to show you how I do that. Okay, so on our pattern piece the edge of our skirt front, the fold line, is two inches away from the raw edge. So I'm going to mark a line four inches away from the raw edge so I have a, a guideline for where to press my raw edge over to. So I've drawn a line which is four inches away from the raw edge and when I press over and make my raw edge meet up with that I should be pressing a two inch crease into the front of my skirt. So I'm going to do that now before I interface it because it's going to make interfacing it a later a lot easier and I've done that for both front panels. So when it says finish off the raw edge of your skirt, I like to do that by facing my facing. So I have the right side of my facing to the right side of the fabric and I'm going to stitch down this raw edge at a quarter of an inch. Then I can turn it over and fuse the facing, fuse the interfacing into place. So right side of my interfacing to right side of the facing piece of the skirt. Okay, so I have my interfacing sewn to my facing piece of my skirt and now I need to turn it around, turn it to the wrong side and you kind of want to roll the seam and then you're going to fuse the interfacing into place and that will give you a nice cleanly finished edge. And I'm going to do that for both skirts, skirt fronts. Once everything is turned and pressed you should end up with something that looks like this. So we have the finished edge of our facing and our interfacing is all nicely tucked away. So the next thing that we're going to do is sew our skirt fronts to our skirt side fronts and our skirt back to our skirt side backs and we're going to do that with a fringe seam. Okay so I have sewn the first seam at a quarter of an inch and I'm now trimming off the excess so that we end up with an eighth of an inch left and I'm going to do that for both skirt fronts and but the skirt backs as well. So I've sewn four of these seams, I'm going to trim them all, then press them, and then we can finish the French seam. So I've pressed it so the right sides are together, and I've finished the seam at three eighths of an inch, which has enclosed the raw edge. I'm going to press these seams towards the sides. This is the skirt front, and then I'm going to press the skirt back seams towards the sides as well. So the next thing that we need to do is install our pockets. And I have my pocket pieces here, and of course I'm going to French seam them. You want to pin your pocket to your skirt side you've got to match the notch there's one in the middle there and it's got to be wrong sides together and then we're going to sew all the way down here and stop here at a quarter of an inch okay so I've sewn at a quarter of an inch and then I have snipped into the seam allowance and I have trimmed away just over an eighth of an inch because we're only going to sew the next part of the seam with a quarter of an inch so that the pockets are inset you need to leave the rest of the skirt seam allowance intact so we're going to go and press this right sides together. So I have finished my seam at a quarter of an inch again and I'm now going to go and press all of the seam allowance towards the pocket and as you can see we've enclosed all the raw edges there so that we can finish the side seams of our skirt. So I'm going to press all of the seam allowance towards the pocket and I'm going to do that for all four pockets. As I said we're going to sew our side seam with a French seam so I have the skirt front attached to the skirt back wrong sides together. The thing that you want to be careful about is this area here you want to make sure that everything is lying nice and flatly under there so I have pinned it in place and I, it is lying nice and flatly but you do want to be careful about that so we're going to sew around the pocket pivot here and down to the hem at a quarter of an inch so I have trimmed the seam allowance down to one eighth of an inch you want to be careful around this area that you don't snip through your stitching because there are extra layers here but you do want to make sure that you trim this this area back nicely as well. I'm just going to take this little extra little bit of here out. So the next thing we're going to do is press it so that the right sides are together and then we can sew it three eighths of an inch to enclose our raw edges. Okay so I have sewn around a three eighths of an inch and I pivoted just here. I think you can see this is the stitching line for the pocket. This is the stitching line for the side seam. We actually need to continue this up by about an inch and we also need to stitch 
from the top down by an inch and a half and this is just to help the pocket stay closed so I'm going to do that now and then I'm going to press all of the pocket and the seam allowance towards the front of the skirt okay so the next thing that we want to do is run gathering stitches along the top edge of our skirt so we can attach it to the bodice you want to make sure that you're keeping the pockets out of the way so you're going to run gathering stitches from the front edge to the side seam you're going to break your stitching you're going to move the pocket out of the way and run it around the back until the second side seam and do the same thing with the pocket and the final lot of gathering stitches to the front. Then we can pin it to our bodice and match all our notches and sew the bodice to the skirt. I've pinned and pulled all my gathers. I've matched up my side seams, I've matched up the centre back, the gathering is meant to be more dense from the, the two notches at the centre back and I have also lined up the front seam so I've got this right sides together with the right side of the bodice and I've lined up the edge of my skirt with the, the seam line of my bodice and I'm going to stitch this at 5 eighths of an inch. We're then going to press the seam allowance of our bodice lining up by 5 eighths of an inch and slip stitch that into place to enclose everything nice and neatly. So I'm going to stitch along here at 5 eighths of an inch the whole way around and you want to stitch with your gathers up so that you can make sure that everything behaves itself. Okay, so I have attached the skirt to the bodice at 5 eighths of an inch and now I need to go and press it so that the seam allowance is all up towards the bodice and I'm also going to need to press the seam allowance of the lining under at 5 eighths of an inch so that I can slip stitch it into place and that will be the top of the dress finished then we just need to hem it put some buttons and buttonholes in and we're done okay so I have pressed the seam allowance towards the bodice and I have pressed the seam allowance of the lining up and it's all pinned into place so I'm going to slip stitch that into place I'm going to hem my skirt and finish off the lower edge of the facing okay so to hem my dress I am going to do a rolled hem I have drawn a line which is one and a quarter inches away from the raw edge which will turn, turn my, my hem up by five eighths of an inch I can then turn that in again to give me a nice clean edge and a nice narrow hem so I'm going to go and press that all the way along you don't need to press all the way down to the facing you kind of just you want to press it close to the facing but it, you don't need to actually press the facing because we're going to sew that slightly differently okay so I have pressed up the edge as I said I was going to to the line that I drew and then I've pressed that under again which has given me a nice enclosed hem but before we sew that up we need to finish off our facing edge so we're going to turn the facing back on itself and you're going to pin that in place you're going to sew at 5 eighths of an inch and stop here and you're going to trim off all of the excess and turn it through and that will give us a nice finished front edge so once you've sewn it you want to trim off the corner so that you don't have too much bulk and you're going to turn it through and make sure that the point is nice and pointy and then we can just roll our hem back down onto itself and hem our skirt all the way around I'm going to use my blind hem foot I don't mind the um, visible stitching on a dress like this on a cotton dress like this perhaps if it was a, a rayon or a viscose or something a bit lighter I might hand stitch it in place you can also use bias binding to finish this hem if you would like to but as I say I'm going to do this one with my blind hem foot and visible stitching the whole way around once this is done we need to put in buttonholes and buttons I've marked on my buttonhole placement and I've done that by lining up this line here, the fold line with the fold line of my skirt and then just making a mark at the edge of each buttonhole and I'm going to sew those on now. Okay, so now that I've got my buttonholes in, I need to mark the placement for my buttons. So what I like to do is pin my dress together so that all the seams match up and then pin it along the front edge just so that we can get everything nice and even. Then you want to take a pin and poke it through through your buttonhole and your buttons are going to be placed towards the top of the buttonhole and you're going to take a your marking tool of choice for me it's a friction pen and you're going to make a mark where your button goes in and you're going to do that for all of your buttonholes once you've done that I like to coat my buttonholes in fray check before I open them and I do it on the front and on the lining side and I do that after I've done this so that they the fray check can dry whilst I'm sewing my buttons on I'm going to get the placement of the rest of my buttons marked 
and then I can sew them on and then we're done. If you have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments section down below and I will do my best to answer them for you. I won't be doing a full pattern review for this pattern as yet because I want to make a third version. I made my first version out of the Lisa Comfort All Over Roses mint print as voted for by the Patreon peeps. I then made this version because I didn't like the construction method that the pattern would have you use and I wanted to fully line the bodice as I have done with this version. And I want to make one more version because this is cleavage tastic and I would like to raise up the front inch front edge by an inch which will mean that there will be an extra button on the bodice piece but it also means that I can wear the type of bra that I prefer because at the moment I have a plunge bra on and I prefer the balconette bra so I will be doing a another dress it's going to be the floor length version it's going to have the little sleeves with the ties on it and I will be adding the instructions of how to put those on into the playlist for this sew along so you can uh, choose to do sleeveless or sleeved I'll also be showing you how I raise up this front area to get just a little bit more coverage and once I have done all of that I will then do a pattern review on all three dresses that I have made from the pattern so far because I think there's going to be more. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I will see you again very soon. Bye!